Welcome to Las Cruces, New Mexico, as our second-ranked Grambling State Tigers travel to take on the Aggies of New Mexico State in the season finale. First quarter action, Phil Austin keeps the option right and plows his way forward for 10 yards. Next play, Charlie Brooks goes up the middle, finds some space, and picks up 14. Then Austin drops back. He throws it deep to Terrell, but it's picked off by Perkins, and the safety brings it back to the 40-yard line. Terrible throw by Austin. Aggies take over. Smith drops back, throws a rope to Clark across the middle. He sheds a tackle, and he gets upfield and gains 35 yards. Three plays later, Smith goes back to the air and hits Lottie on the slant. First and go New Mexico State. Two plays later, Smith keeps the option up the middle and walks into the end zone 7-0 Aggies. Tigers offense back on the field. Austin drops back and hits Clark on the curl for 14. Then Austin shows off his arm again. He scrambles left and throws it deep to Rob Bradford. The big tight end comes down with it after a 39-yard gain. It would lead to a GSU field goal. Aggies offense back on the field. Mangum takes the dive up the middle, makes a cut, and picks up 13. Then Smith with a three-step drop. Hits Lottie on the check down. He stiff arms Nichols and is dragged down after gaining 23 yards. A few plays later, Smith drops back. Doesn't like what he sees, so he takes off. He sheds a couple of tackles and stumbles to 19 yards. Next play, Smith goes play action, and he's looking to go deep. He connects with Clark. He sheds the tackle and walks into the end zone. 14-3 New Mexico State. Next Tigers possession, CB23 comes out running hard. He hits the outside and gains 11. Later, Austin drops back and threads the needle to Clark on the outside for nine first down. Two plays later, Austin drops back. He boots out to his right, and he throws it deep to Higgins for a gain of 25. Then Brooks takes the handoff up the middle, finds some space, and muscles his way into the end zone. 14-10 to 10, New Mexico State. Next Aggies possession, Smith drops back, waits in the pocket, then sneaks out, gets upfield, and gains 17. Then Mangum takes the sweep right, finds a crease, sheds a tackle, and it gets pulled down after picking up 13. Next play, Smith goes back to the air, and hits Lottie across the middle. He spins, gets upfield, and gains 20. Then Smith keeps the option right, finds a hole, and is off to the races. Roy Smith goes 17 yards to the house, 21-10 Aggies. GSU looks to answer back. Higgins takes the counter right, cuts inside, then bounces it back outside, and he's off to the races. The speedy back gets pulled down after picking up 36 yards. Then Austin drops back and gets rid of it to Gunn on the outside for 11. Next play, Brooks takes the handoff left, drops his shoulder, and picks up 11. Then Austin drops back. He scrambles to his right and throws a laser to Brooks up the sideline. The big back bowls his way to 14 yards. Then two plays later, Will Higgins takes the handoff up the middle into the end zone. The Tigers would go for two. Brooks takes the handoff up the middle. They get into the end zone. The Aggie lead is down to three. After New Mexico State three and out, Higgins is back deep for the punt. He starts left. Cuts across the field right, turns on the Jets, gets a block, and is gone. Will Higgins goes 67 yards to the house. GSU takes the lead. G-Man force another three and out. Higgs takes the counter right. He follows his blockers, gets upfield, and picks up a huge gain of 35. Two plays later, Austin drops back and tries to force a pass in the paint and is picked off by Davis at his interception number two on the day for Phil Austin. Aggies come out driving. Mangum takes the handoff up the middle, cuts back, and muscles his way to eight yards. The Smith drops back, has tons of time, and hits Muse on the cutback cheese. He gets upfield and picks up 29. It would lead to a New Mexico State field goal. Next Tigers possession, Austin drops back and throws a dart across the middle to Pate for 15. Later, Austin goes play action. He scrambles right. Looks to go deep to Terrell, but is picked off for the third time today, this time by Perkins. Terrible decision-making by the sophomore QB. But the defense will force a punt, and Austin goes back to the air. He threads the needle to Terrell for the first. Then Austin, with the drop back, scrambles left, turns upfield, and steps out of bounds after gaining 17. Two plays later, Austin drops back, tries to go across the middle to Terrell, but is picked off for the fourth time in this half, and that's how the half would end. 25-24 to 24 is your score at the half. Grambler State is up. 
Sloppy play by Phil Austin. Let's see if he can wake up in the second half. G-Man's defense forced a three and out, and Higgins is back deep for the punt. He starts left, cuts it back to the right, and has a lot of space. He gets the corner, fakes out the punter, and Will Higgins does it again. This time, 79 yards to the house, 32 to 24 GSU. Aggies offense back on the field. Smith drops back, tries to scramble out, but is sacked by the freshman phenom Richard Maynard. Next play, Smith drops back. He sheds the defender, scrambles up the middle, and picks up eight yards. Then on third down, Smith goes back to the air, but the pressure gets to him again. Big Cam Richardson is there to get the sack. Tigers take over. Austin drops back. and his Clark on the outside. The senior spins upfield for a gain of 23 yards. Later in the drive, CB23 finds a lane on the right, weaves through traffic, drops his shoulder, and gets into the end zone. Tigers up 15. Aggies look to answer. Smith drops back, tries to scramble out, but mama, there goes that man. Rich Maynard is there for the second sack of the night. After another Aggie three and out, Brooks finds a lane on the left, gets upfield, and picks up 17. Next play, Austin drops back, scrambles right, and throws a gorgeous touch pass to route on the sideline for 14. Three plays later, Brooks goes up the middle, and he powers his way into the end zone from eight yards out. That's his third on the day. But the Aggies are still fighting. Mangum goes up the middle, fights and fights and fights for a gain of 12 yards. The Smith drops back, tries to scramble out, but Josh Carey is there to lower the boom for the sack. Start of the fourth quarter, Smith tries to set up the screen, but big Steven Stewart is there for the sack. Then on third down, Smith looks to go back to the air again, but big Cam Richardson misses the first time, but he gets to him the second time. Three and out, Aggies. GSU takes over. Austin drops back, scrambles left, and hits Higgins across the middle. He turns up field, gets a juke off, and picks up 26. Then Brooks takes the rock up the middle, cuts, and makes 11. Later, Higgins takes that counter right, gets to the outside, and is pulled down after gaining 13. Then CB23 would cement his name in the Grambling State history books, getting his fourth touchdown on the day. Tigers break 50. Aggie still scrapping. Smith looks to go back to the air. He breaks the pocket and gets rocked, and it's a fumble. Thankfully, Mangum dives on it and recovers. On third down, Mangum would take the handoff, cut back, find some space on the left, and picks up 19 yards. A few plays later, Smith goes back to the air, has all the time in the world, decides to scramble out, Gets a field, fights for extra yards, and he fumbles. Butler is there to recover. What a play by the G-Man defense. Tigers look to put the nail in the coffin. Austin drops back, scrambles left, and hits Bradford for the first down. Later, Brooks goes up the gut, weaves through traffic for a 13-yard gain. Next play, Brooks takes the counter right, fouls his blockers, and he has some space. The big back rumbles downfield and picks up 31. Then Austin would drop back and throws a dart to gun in the end zone, 60 to 24 Grambling State. Each team would add a touchdown, but GSU finished the season undefeated. 67 to 31 is your final over the Aggies. Phil Austin had a terrible day, 18 of 35 for 255, two touchdowns, and those four first half interceptions on the ground. The Tigers dominated. Charlie Brooks finished with 198 yards and four scores. And Will Higgins, he chipped in with 115 yards on the ground and a score. Out wide, TJ Clark led the way with four grabs for 48 yards. Rob Bradford had three grabs and a touchdown. On defense, Josh Carey led the way with 11 tackles and a sack. But Richard Maynard had three sacks, and so did Big Cam Richardson. What a way to end the season undefeated and now a chance to play for the national championship. Thanks for watching, guys, in the Tigers End podcast. We'll find out who Grambling State will play in the bowl game and see if the national championship is in our future. Also, we'll take a look at the season stats and one last recruiting board visit before the end of the season. Make sure you guys smash that thumbs up button and subscribe if you're brand new and hit those links down in my description. Follow your boy on Twitter, IG, and Facebook at Big C Got Game. Have a great day, guys. Two fingers in the air. Peace.